like, I love a gritty movie just like anybody else, but this movie brought it straight back to old spy movie when yeah. it's it's got the gadgets, you got everything there, people popping each other. It's just it's it's, it's over the top, and you love it. Yeah, it, it I loved old, it. Yeah, it pays homage to old school James Bond movies. Yeah, it, it's so good. Even satires a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like a good James Bond movie, but also it has got some British humor in it. Yeah, like, it's just so good. I love Kingsman and Colin Firth. I who, know he's who? so classy, <laughs> but he's just a badass in this movie. Who thought <laughs> that church scene? Holy! Oh shit. my god! If you haven't seen the movie the church scene Ooh. people got disturbed from this maybe it's just me from watching so many action movies when I was too young <laughs> but I thought it was kind of funny yeah it's just amazing he played a good scene and uh, the young guy in the, in the film I totally forget his name I don't know his name I totally forget I his know. name too but he Karen Edgerton is his name yeah he yeah, actually yeah. yeah he's amazing in the movie yeah uh, this movie like I said uh, played homage to everything. He's even got a bad guy with swords for feet. Come on. I, woo! I had like, Sam Jackson from like Mike Tyson. I know. That's how it's that, that, coming on. Yeah. Did so he like, just die? And then the, the, he's a bad guy who doesn't like to see dead bodies. Oh, yeah. Who okay. doesn't like, like, you just see a bad guy. He's like, he's like all badass and he's mm. ready to kill people, but he's not even. Like, he wants to kill people, but he doesn't want to see it. Like, he's a little bit weird. Like, that's why you love this movie. I know. It brings in different things. Like I said, original story, pays homage. It's just everything tied together. That's why it is my number six. Yes, it is a new movie, but honestly, it just kills. I know. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, my number five, The Raid Redemption. Oh, I, my God. Yes, I actually like The Raid 2 better, but as a standalone action movie... The Raid... The Raid Redemption... Yeah, I told him to watch this movie. Yeah, he did. Uh, the Raid Redemption... <laughs> It's just a straight-up action movie. It even says on the case, on the case, on the Blu-ray case, it says one minute of romance and 99 minutes of non-stop carnage. That's what it is. <laughs> that, that perfectly sums up this movie because yep. it just doesn't stop. When, right when they go into this oh, building, yeah. it's just non-stop action, and it's fucking awesome. Amazing. It's amazing. so good. The choreography is amazing. Yep. The fucking action, the shots, everything about this movie is yep. awesome. It's bloody. Yep. It's gore. Oh, yep. It's just so awesome. Yep. You, you get a mixture of kung fu as well as the gunplay, and uh, it's just amazing. Yeah. EK, uh, yeah amazing. E Eco US plays the role the main guy Rama, God, he's awesome. Oh yeah, he's oh, awesome, yeah. amazing, so good. And yeah, Can't, Raid uh, Redemption. It's a new one. Check it out. Number five. Yeah. All right, my number five. Five. Number yeah, five. five. Oh, number five. Ah, <laughs> number five. five. Number five. Halfway though. Number five. We're halfway through. All right. So my number five again, a new movie. Uh, I find uh, well, the two new action movies that 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 uh, came out this year mm. have honestly they've blown me away. And my number five is John Wick. Uh, like I said, new movie, and it, this movie blew me away. I know people kind of question Keanu Reeves and his acting skills, but his blandness just, it nailed this, you know, it, yeah, it, it, like, so put the, you know, you know, hit the nail with the hammer on this one. I know, I love it. was amazing. John Wick is actually just a dash movie. You just have, you can have a lot of fun with this movie. Yeah. It's just so much fun to watch. Yeah. And At you... first, like, 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 like what Jordan was telling me about it, he was just like, okay, the first 10 minutes, no one says anything. I'm like, really? No one says anything? No. But honestly, no one says anything, and it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It just creates atmosphere, establishes character. Yeah. And, and Keanu Reeves' performance in the first five minutes of this movie is yeah. probably the best acting he's ever done yeah. in any movie. And he barely says anything, but yeah. it's so good. Just yeah. his emotions that, that, that come out. And everything, like like I said, the atmosphere, mm -hmm. it's just amazing. And then, you know, you're watching the movie, you're thinking, oh, this kind of looks like a drama. How is this an action movie? And then right after that, 15, 20 minutes into the movie, yeah. boom, it's just nonstop. Can just shoot people in the face. Yeah, shooting people in the face. <laughs> yeah. All he basically uses is, like, a handgun, and that's yeah. that's it. And John Wick, and I love the villain in this movie, he's actually fucking terrified of John Wick. He's not like a badass villain, he's actually a pussy. He's like, oh yeah. my god, John Wick. <laughs> Like, Again, yeah, like, yeah, you want like John Lewis I was calling him. They still have John Wick's car and kills dog. Crap. Yeah. <laughs> See, again, this is what <laughs> this is what I like about these new movies that are doing different. It's not just the, the same old formula. Yeah. Hey, there's a bad guy. You know, he's a badass. You know, he's trying to kill people. Mm -hmm. This guy goes in. You know, they have the little fight, and da da da. He dies. Yeah. It's uh, just like you know, climax. This action up here, and then yeah. down. And I love the world of John Wick. It's so dark, yeah. and I love the, it is. I love the, the like a hotel just for assassins. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's so and cool. Everyone's afraid of John Wick. The I, police come to his door, look at his dead body, so they're like, hey, you back to work? <laughs> hey, hey, Harry, hey, Harry, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's afraid of this dude. Yeah, and then you find out why, because he is the boogeyman. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's awesome. John Wick, it's a new one. It's a good one. All right, coming in, my number four, we're going classic. 
the Terminator. Oh, the Terminator. I'll be back. <laughs> um, I love the Terminator. I actually, exactly. everyone knows that I love Terminator more than Terminator 2 and Terminator 3 and definitely more than Terminator South. <laughs> yeah, I love the Terminator. I love the story of the Terminator and I love its old school action. Yeah. Schwarzenegger is just eating up this movie. He's just, looks like he's having fun with this movie. And yeah. yeah, he's not a good actor, but it doesn't take a good actor to play the T-101. But yeah, but uh, Michael Biehn's great. Linda Hamilton's good. Yeah. I love seeing Kyle Reese and Sarah Connor, their chemistry is so good. I love seeing the story of Kyle Reese and them running from this T-01 makes this movie so intense and so scary. Like, yeah. God, like, this is like a non-stop robot who's like, after them. Yeah. Yeah, I love The Terminator. It's one of my favorite action movies. This is where we disagree. I do love Terminator. You know, it set, you know, it, it, it set the stage yeah. you know, for, for the whole story. But Terminator 2 is the better movie. Yeah. It's so good. The best. Who doesn't love the T-1000? He's that, the scariest person in the so world. So that's your number four. Scariest <laughs> person in the world. My number four is Terminator 2. Yeah. Just to bump heads with my brother. Oh, I know. He just no. does. Just but like, come on. Yes, the T-101 is amazing. Yes, it's the non-stop robot. Non-stop robot compared to someone who can shapeshift, who can make swords out of his hands, who can walk through bars and through walls and liquidate and go under doors and just... Keep coming at you. Blows limbs off. Guess what? They come back. Yeah. This is a villain who's scary Torch as that hell. <laughs> scary as hell. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the T one thousand is awesome. Robert Patrick's great. I love to do a ter Terminator two though. Like uh, Terminator one's a better movie, in my opinion. But yeah, Term <laughs> Terminator two. I loved about it is it was amazing. The c they brought in CG and the CG looked good. They but, did. But it's also basic animatronics and basic yeah. practical effects in the movie they too. Just like when uh, when they're in the little junkyard and he cuts his head and then pff, rips yeah. it off and yeah. it's the robot head. Like yeah. that that was amazing. It wasn't CG no. and it was just amazing. Was, yeah, yeah. I love Terminator two. Terminator two is a great action movie. Terminator Terminator one is just my favorite. <sighs> Terminator two is so much better. So much better. Sure. Come on! <laughs> Whatever. Alright, my number three. Coming in at number three for me is Predator. Um, a bunch oh, yeah. of soldiers Just in the woods predator. getting chased by some Predator yeah. alien looking thing. That is so fucking scary. It is. It is scary. Yeah. And this and movie uh, starts off as a Rambo movie, but then ends as like an alien movie. It's Rambo beats Alien. Isn't that badass? I will admit that, yes, it is badass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's so terrifying. With, with the corny dialogue and the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love this movie. Like, Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah, he plays a character named Dutch. That's, it's a very <laughs> stupid name. But, yeah, yeah Carl <laughs> Weathers is in it. Yeah, you got Apollo Creed in this movie with him. Yeah, him getting his arm blasted off. Like, oh, yeah. God. The kills in this movie are just so memorable. And I love these yeah. characters. I love how cheesy they are, but I love just how memorable yeah. they are. And, oh, yeah, you know what? Ugly motherfucker. Yeah. And yeah, the Predator. I love the design yeah. of the Predator. No CG on the Predator. That's just all yep. practical and yep. it looks so freaking good. And yeah, the it's noises. Nice. The noises. Yeah, that little, that little noise yeah. that he makes. The fact that he camouflages. He's got like these futuristic yeah. guns and lasers and shit. Like, that is fucking terrifying. Think, see, I would put that as my top 10. Amazing movie, but come on. A Predator with lasers versus a bunch of dudes. Come on, you know he's gonna win just because it's Schwarzenegger, he beats him. It's directed by John <laughs> McTiernan, who did Die Hard and fucking Hunt for Red October. Both amazing movies, yeah. better than Predator. All the Predator, I will admit, is an amazing movie, but I. Eh, what? It's not something that I would put on my top 10 list. <laughs> okay. Alright, go. Number three. Number three? Number three? Mission Impossible 3. I love the Mission Impossible movies. First one was good, second one was. It, it's. You, it, Kind of completes it, I guess. But Mission Impossible Three, it brought it back to something to a place that was just amazing. Yeah, um, there, 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 there's another reason. To say it. it starts off the movie, just it grabs you from the very beginning. Grabs you. It's oh, it's Tom it's, Cruise stuck to a chair. Yeah. In the opening with Philip Seymour Hoffman, and he's got like his gun to his wife's head. Like that yeah. is that's a way to open a movie. That's a good way to open yeah. a movie. They're both strapped to a chair, and then points the gun to his to his wife's head. What okay. do you know? What do you know? No, nope. boom, boom, yeah. And like, then and then the movie starts. Okay, and that's then you're like, whoa, movie. what the hell happened? What's going on? Yeah. You know, he you know he has a wife now. What you know, like what happened in his life? And then it goes, and then it, it plays through. Almost Tarantino's it, you know, a little yeah. bit. Um, <laughs> I like 
Ghost Protocol better than Mission Impossible 3, but I love 3. Mission Impossible 3 is a good movie. Uh, Tom Cruise is great in it. It's directed by J.J. Abrams. Yeah. Like, it, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. It's amazing. It's, I it's I so get, good. You're bashing me for putting it's Predator right. on the list. You got Mission Impossible 3. Mission Impossible 3 is so much better than Predator. I'm yeah. sorry, but it is. It's so much better. There's so much more action in it. I oh, know, Predator's just more memorable. It's more iconic. It's got fucking Stallone. It got, it's got freaking uh, Apollo Creed in it. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get to my number two. My number two is Dead or Alive, you come with me, RoboCop. Love RoboCop. Love uh, it. RoboCop is bloody good fun. I love oh, this yeah. movie, RoboCop. Yep. It's uh, directed by Paul Verhoeven, who did Total Recall and Starship Troopers. This is his best movie, obviously. And I love RoboCop. It's so freaking good. Uh, RoboCop is an amazing movie. It's so fucking good. And, oh, God, the villain. Like, Clarence is just such an awesome yeah. villain. And the violence in this the movie. bloody violence. It's so gritty. It's so bloody. And it's I so love it. It's so funny because you watch the movie. It was, I watched it a little while ago with uh, one of my buddies who, who hadn't seen it in a... Probably he. I think he saw it once. It was a long time ago. Yeah. And he's sitting there, and they're and uh, they're sitting there shooting him with shotguns before he becomes a RoboCop. Yeah, right. And he's got limbs blowing up. You're like, really? This is happening right now? Oh, <laughs> but yeah. it's so good. It's so awesome. Yeah. And the lines in this movie are just so awesome. Like the dinner live. You know, I would buy that for a dollar. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the commercials. It's 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 a good uh, it's a good satire about American culture too. Yeah. And I love this movie. It's, it, the visuals are good. The action is amazing. Yep. It's just so much fun. Yep. One of the greatest action movies of all time. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking yeah great. it is. It's, it's so good. It's amazing. Yeah. I will admit that. Yeah. Right. Number two. Am I number two? Yeah. Uh, the Matrix. The Matrix. I mm. love The Matrix. The Matrix brought something that we had that no one's seen in a while. And especially, like, the story, the action, the homage to, to, to kung fu movies, the homage to, to action movies in general. Yeah. It yeah. just brought everything. And the whole story of living in a computer, it was just something so different. Yeah. Sci-fi action, and I just, I, I absolutely love it. Yeah, it, it is so good. I know kung fu! I know kung fu! Boo. Yes, those little <laughs> stupid lines. But yeah, like, yeah. He has a hard on for Car Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is a good guy. Yeah, uh, He gave millions of dollars to the... To the whole group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come like, on. He's this guy. He's, he's a good guy. dude. And I love Matrix. Matrix is a good movie. The sequels suck ass, but... I would say they suck ass. But yeah. They were okay. <laughs> I like the Matrix. I love the action. I love how new this action movie was. Yeah. Like how it was shot and filmed. And yep. the slow motion. Yeah. And... Come on. Agent Smith is... Agent Smith. He's, 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 he's yeah, awesome. He's, he's pretty awesome. Yeah. I like Matrix. Matrix is good. All right. Bring it into our number ones. All right, All right my number, number one. Drum roll, please. Die hard. Die, Die hard. hard. Yippee ki motherfucker. Yep. Line of the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hans Gruber, one of the greatest movie villains of all time. Yep. What is that what you said? Yippee ki motherfucker. Oh, yeah. I love Hans Gruber. Get me my detonators. I'll recommend It's just so good. Bruce Willis. Oh, yeah. This is before Bruce Willis was an action star, and this is what brought. Bruce Willis to action movies. People were like, yeah. Bruce Willis in an action movie? Ugh, that guy? But then he just owned as John McClane. He's just oh, so he good. He did. Walking it, through glass, come on. <laughs> yeah, it, the action's just so good. And I love that the dialogue between Hans Gruber and John McClane. Yep. And John McClane talking to, uh, what's his name? Uh, the partner, the black guy from Family Matters. But yeah. like, and yeah, uh, Reginald Val Johnson. Yeah, saying. that's his name. And yeah, the, the the dialogue between them. Like you love these characters. Yeah. They're all three dimensional characters. Amazing. And it's yeah. intense. It's so good. One. It's the greatest action movie of all time. It's also one of the greatest Christmas movies of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. My number one. Jordan already said it once, and I don't know why it's not higher on his list. It's Casino Royale. I love Bond movies. I've been watching Bond it. movies since I can remember. I had the old Bond set on VHS when I was maybe 10 years old. That's how much I love Bond. I was watching old Bond movies when I was 10. I love, I love action movies. Yeah. I love Bond movies. Spy movies are amazing. And the Bond movies... It... And Bond fell off the map. Pierce I'm not going to blame Pierce Brosnan because GoldenEye was an amazing yeah, Bond another movie. Day and and tomorrow Die Another Day dies. and Tomorrow Another Dies. And World's Not Enough. World's Not Enough. It Bond fell off the map. And... It got brought back with Casino Royale. Yeah, Daniel it's, Craig is just Craig. an awesome mom. He is amazing. And this movie just blew me away when I saw it in the theater. Yeah, it I, blew me away. Yeah. It is a straight up yeah. action spy movie. I love Casino Royale. I love it. It's so good. Yeah. And um, I love that. Actually, this oh, 
<laughs> so yeah, that was our top 10 favorite action movies. And please comment below and tell me what is your favorite action movies. Comment below and tell me your favorite action movies. Yeah, fill those comments down there. Oh yeah, fill them out! Do it now! Uh, <laughs> if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.